Hey queens, this is such a random vlog. I was just starting to sort my life out and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna vlog it. I feel like this is such a fun thing to vlog. Probably no one will watch this, but I feel like it will help me get my life together because I'll actually be filming it for you guys and it will make me more productive in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, but just pretend it does. I've just got back from New York and if you could not tell, I am so tired. It has taken the life out of me. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. We got back yesterday at about... We landed at 11 and it took us like two hours to get home so we didn't get home till two and then I just stayed with my boyfriend's last night because I was like this is ridiculous I'm so tired I could not drive home because I would have also a whole thing about my car insurance they've cancelled my car insurance because they don't cover social media which is like what doesn't make sense but they could easily just put me under marketing or something because that's what it was under but they've cancelled my car insurance so I've been trying to sort that out and Everything's just been so stressful. So I just want to take you along, make it more stressful. But yeah, I drove home this morning, but I only had like an hour of car insurance. So I had to like put my foot down because it's like an hour drive from my boyfriend's house to my house. So it was a bit stressful. But yeah, just got home and I'm so tired. My hair's so greasy. I have to unpack. I've got loads of parcels to open. So I just thought we'd do it all together. Do, do a little glow up because she's not glowing and I know it's a true thing about your period like if you are on your period you're more ugly but it's actually a thing so maybe that's why she's not saying but my hair's greasy everything's just not do you know what I mean we need to sort this out so I thought we did it together why is this the most difficult pillow to put on a pillowcase this is so hard this is a heated pillow excuse me what Girls, if you don't have a heated pillow, go get one because it's the nicest thing ever. I'll put a link in the description of this pillow. It is a bit pricey, but it's the nicest thing. And I really struggle with headaches. So I think when I go to sleep at night, oh, honestly, it's probably saved so many of my headaches and it just makes you so sleepy. I actually can't wait to sleep with it. I forgot I had it. There she is and she heats up. That's so nice to have it washed because I haven't actually washed it yet because I didn't know how to wash it, but that sounds really ridiculous, but I thought that there wasn't a cover on it, like I didn't realise, and I was like, how are you supposed to wash this with a battery? Yeah, let's open some parcels together. Isle of Paradise have sent me, uh, what's this? Oh, Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronzer. That looks so cool. I'm so excited to try that. Tropic have sent me their new Radiance Cleanser. I think this is new because I've never seen this before. I might give this to my mum because she absolutely loves Tropic. Like, it's her favourite thing ever. Wow. She's bougie. That's so pretty. If she likes it, then maybe I'll give it a go. I'm just scared to try new products. But Tropic is so good because they have no like harsh chemicals in their products at all. If you're not using Tropic, you need to use Tropic. This is more skincare, I think. I've never heard of that brand though. Have any of you guys heard of that brand? Let's smell it, I wanna smell it. Mmm, that smells good. That's so aesthetic. I feel like so many of these things I just wanna save until I move out because it will look so cool in my bathroom. I'm actually collabing with them. So I don't know if I can show you guys this, but I don't see why it'd be a problem. Oh, I just love, oh, it's actually giving Skims. It's like the same material with Skims as well. That is so nice because I got a blue one the other day and I'm obsessed with the blue one, but the blue one's like a cotton material. This is like silk. Is it silk? I don't know this material, but yeah, it's like the Skims like slinky material. I'm so excited to try this. And then I got this grey zip up. That is so cute. Oh, I actually love lounge clothing so much. How nice is that? I was about to buy loads of their stuff and then they like messaged me and were like, I'm gonna work with you. I was like, say no more. And I just got the matching joggers, which are wide leg and you know, I'm a sucker for wide leg joggers. These are so nice. I actually love these. 
Yeah, I usually get a lot more parcels. To be fair, it's because I haven't ordered anything. I usually just splurge when I'm not at home. Like, I'll just order loads of stuff because then I know I'm coming home to those parcels. But where I've been in New York, I just haven't really had time to look for stuff to buy. But now I'm home. Spring's coming. You know I'm going to buy so much stuff for spring. I actually can't wait. I've now got both these suitcases to unpack, which is so much effort. I just actually, I actually can't be bothered. I'm so tired, honestly. I'm just watching Cindy on YouTube. Go watch her, guys. I literally love her so much. This is what we're dealing with. That's only one side. And that's all my washing so far. So I'm just going to sort everything into, like, black and then whites. Or colours and then whites and then do two separate washers because I just have so much clothes to wash. It's just easier, like when you get back from holiday, I just feel like it's so easy to just wash everything instead of put everything away. So I just take everything and put it in the wash, even if it doesn't need washing, but I feel like it does all need washing because I did wear all of it. But yeah, this is gonna take me a while to get through. So I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and do this. I don't know whether to do like a little time-lapse or not, but it's quite boring. finally finished unpacking it took me about an hour but i forgot to say so i bought this suitcase before i went away and because my suitcase wasn't big enough and they've actually damaged it like i know what did i expect but the whole of the suitcase has been damaged because they just chuck it on and it's actually really annoying because i did spend a lot of money on it but if anyone has any tips on what I can do to kind of get rid of these marks, please let me know. I might try wipe them off. I think some of them are dirt, but a lot of them are just chips. Like, that one's a chip. But yeah, that is really annoying. Hey, queens. It's now the evening. I've just had a bath and scrubbed all my tan off. I've just put my retainers in as well, so that's why I have a lisp. But I'm just about to fake tan, so I thought I'd let you guys know. And I've just plucked my eyebrows and stuff because they just look so bushy. I wanted to do a face mask, but I'm so tired, so I'm just going to do it tomorrow. I really want to try out Lucinda's new tanning collection with St. Moritz. But I never really got on with St. Moritz, so I don't know. But her tan is always slaying, so I think I might try this tonight. But it's kind of risky because if it looks bad... I'll just show you guys the results in the morning. I thought I'd just show you guys how the fake tan turned out from last night. I actually love it. Like, I didn't think I would because it's St. Moritz, but it is actually really nice. Like, the colour's really nice. I don't know if you can even tell. This isn't a very great angle. It does look a bit weird under my arms and stuff just because I had really bad fake tan on. Like, it was so tiger ready. So, it hasn't all come off like I did try my hardest to scrub it off but it didn't all come off so if it does look weird that's why but yeah I actually love it um I've just done a hair mask I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and do a face mask so I'll bring you guys along with that I've done all my washing all my clothes are put away I feel so much better I hate getting back from holiday I feel like it's such a stressful thing but I've got it all done in basically a day so I feel so much better now <laughs> My hair looks crazy right now because I had it in a slick back bun today. So it looks greasy and there's just so much product in it. So ignore that. But I'm just about to do a hair mask because I have the worst headache ever. I think me and Luke got so ill from New York. I don't know whether it was on the plane or what, but we both picked up some sort of cold. And I felt awful. And I've had the worst headache all day. And I just think having a slick back bun does not help a headache it's like the worst thing you can do so i've just taken my hair out and i'm just i just want to give it like a, a massage also forgot to wash my hands last night before i went to sleep because i fake tan before i went to sleep but like usually i fake tan like two hours before i go to sleep and then obviously i wash my hands in those two hours and i i put fake tan on and went straight to sleep like i didn't do anything else i just put it on i was on facetime to my friend and then I put my pyjamas on, got into bed, I went straight to sleep because I was so tired. So I forgot to wash my hands and they look ridiculous. It's so annoying, I do it all the time, I always forget. Going in with the Vitamin C Me Hair Syrup, 
I've only been using this stuff for a few weeks now, but I always see such good stuff on it, about it. Girl, of course I would do that. I always see such good stuff about it on TikTok, so. I was a rosemary girl for so long. I was hair oiling my hair with the rosemary oil and it actually seemed to work really well. And then I just, I don't know what it was, I just gave up with it. Because I actually did see a difference, so I don't know why I gave up with it. I just couldn't be bothered to oil my hair anymore. And then I kept seeing this on my For You page and I was like, oh, I need to start oiling my hair again because it would probably help. Also, I did not know slip backs stopped your hair from growing. Like, that is so bad. So now I just never do slip backs. The only thing with this, I use about half a bottle every time I oil my hair. So I don't know if it is worth the money because the rosemary oil I didn't use as much. Like it lasted me for about a year, the rosemary oil. But I've only used this about three times. So that's the only down thing about it. I've just slicked it back into a ponytail because I will probably go on a dog walk tonight and I don't want to look crazy. So I've just put it back. However, I just really don't like myself with a low slick bag I only like high slick bags because I just look like an egg on the front can't even look at you guys front on because I look so weird but I also put a bit of this ultimate blend Garnier hair drink in my hair this is in the scent pineapple I'm pretty sure pineapple it says in big writing on the front pineapple it smells incredible and I love putting it in my hair before I wash my hair because it just smells so good. Now let's take my makeup off because I hate wearing makeup. It's honestly the most uncomfortable feeling. I wish I looked like this naturally, but she doesn't. I'm just using the Garnier Micellar Water. I absolutely love this to take my makeup off. I never used to see the hype of it and then I tried it once and I was like, oh my god. Because obviously you guys know I struggled with my skin so much and... Anything I was kind of using to take off my makeup didn't really work. And then I used this and it's actually really, I don't know, it's probably really bad for your skin. But I feel like it's gentle on my skin. It's definitely not gentle on my skin. But I feel like it's one of the only products that just doesn't break me out. It's just such an easy way to take off your makeup as well. It just works. So I don't even know how it works, honestly. Someone get the scientific explanation because I actually would want to know. Look at my orange hands. This is awful. They look so orange. And then I spoke about this in my other video, but I absolutely love the Glow Recipe Watermelon Face Mask. This is, again, another thing that just doesn't break me out. And I haven't done a face mask for like two weeks. So she needs a face mask because when I was in New York, there's actually so much. Oh, I just don't want to live in the city when I'm older. I'm moving to Liverpool, that is so contradicting. I just feel like they're so bad for your skin, cities. I just want to live in a countryside where it's like fr clean, fresh air. I just feel like it's not clean in a city and in Liverpool, not in Liverpool, in New York, the air just did not feel clean. Everywhere I smell, it just stunk. That is one bad thing about New York. It just stank everywhere you went. And obviously so many people like smoke and ugh, I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe. So I'm just going to let that sit and let it dry and then wash it off. Hey queens, I just washed my face mask off. I left it on for about half an hour in the end because it just took so long to dry. But I was just thinking, I got sent this tracksuit from the Couture Club and I am obsessed with it. This is the first time I've worn it. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys and tell you because I'm so bad at like saying where everything's from. I try my best when I'm like vlogging and stuff because when I watch people's vlogs, I want to know everything they're wearing in the video, where it's from. But I just thought I'd probably get a few questions on where this is from. The Couture Club kindly sent me it and I'm obsessed with it. It's giving a clean girl. However, I was just washing my face and I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's like water or i've actually got makeup on it but i think i've got makeup on it which is so annoying it's literally the first time i've worn it i can't wear white because i just get stuff all over it every single time 
I feel like I might just end this vlog here. There's not much else to show you guys. This is usually what I do when I get back from holiday. I just unpack, wash everything, kind of sort my room out, which I'm probably not going to show in this video because I've got so many other videos on that and I can do like a whole separate video of me cleaning my room if you guys would be interested in that. I feel like I need to do that, like a proper Sunday reset. This is more of a holiday reset, but I haven't actually cleaned my room, so... I can't show you that. However, I do want to clean it, but I think I might just wait till Sunday because it's Tuesday and I just love doing a Sunday reset. So I might as well just wait till Sunday. And I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be at home for a few nights because I'm staying at my friends and at my boyfriend's. So there's not really any point in me cleaning it because I'm not gonna be here. But yeah, I've done a hair mask, done a face mask. I mean I wash my hair tomorrow morning, obviously, but that's not that interesting. I feel like you guys don't really care. But I have started using the Kerastase. Kerastase? Kerast Kerastase. I actually don't know how to pronounce that and it's really annoying and I feel like people are going to get annoyed at me because I always see like influencers trying to pronounce something and then everyone gets really annoyed because it's like it's actually your job. You should be able to pronounce it. But I, I just genuinely don't know how to say this and I feel like so I've heard it so many different ways. So it's just one of them things. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I've been using all of their products. I've been using the shampoo, conditioner, just because I was talking about washing my hair. And I've been loving their products. I would show you the shampoo and conditioner, but it's in the bathroom and I really can't be bothered to go get it. So I just want to show you the hair oil. But I've been using their shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, pre-shampoo treatment, and then obviously their oil and their like heat protectant spray as well. I've been loving their products. So if you guys are wondering what I'm washing my hair with at the moment, I've been using their products. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of video. It's a bit of a random one, a bit more of a vloggy style type video, but I feel like they're the best. I love watching vlogs, like they are my favourite videos. So if you guys want more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments. You can hear in my voice how ill I'm getting. So I think it's just best if I end the video here. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'm so grateful for all of you. We've just hit 25,000 subscribers, which is so exciting. Like little me would be screaming right now. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video.